Hi guys, in today's video, we were going to install a custom ROM in your Android device. Now basically, there are things you'll need to have first. Now, the first thing you'll need to have is a internet connection. It will allow you to download the ROM without any problem. And the second thing you'll need to do is to know your device model. To know your device model, you can go to settings and go about phone and you can see there a model name or a model number so if you have a different device you should search and don't click the link in the description or else you'll make your phone unusable so you'll need to watch first my first video how to install a custom recovery so just click here and or click the link in the description below so if you've done doing that and finding your device custom recovery and you must find now your custom ROM to find your custom ROM just go to the Google Chrome and just find there the ROM that is compatible to your, to your device if you're clicking the link in the description again you will break your phone don't worry if you break your phone I have a video for that and just click in the link in the description below so that you can fix your phone so the ROM we will be installing is called a motion lollipop on your Hawaii Wi Fi 11 and it is working fine really good and Let's start it right now. So if you're done downloading the ROM, just store it in your SD card with no folders so that you can find it easily. So as you can see, I have the ROM, custom ROM called Emotion Lollipop that's this. Please remain it as a zip and power off your device to go to the custom recovery. Go to the custom recovery, this time device is different, so press the power button two seconds and press the volume up and down at the same time and in your device it might be different as you can see i have the s4 logo so if you want to watch that go to my channel and we are on the custom recovery twrp and the first thing you need to do is to wipe the cache you can see a few options there but you want to click the cache to wipe the cache just slide it all the way to the right And when you're done, just press back. And you can install it right now. So find your .zip file which is the Emotion Lollipop. Or in your device, it might be different if you're the different device. So just click the .zip file. And swipe it all the way to the right so just follow what I did here and if you have your stock recovery you have to watch my separate video which you can found in the link in the description below to watch that first and install a custom recovery on your device so that you can accomplish this installation so just click next and it will flash all the files needed for your application in my case it will take just maybe a minute because I'll fast forwarded the video so in your case you, it will take 4 minutes and that is not the longest time so just wait for that it is flashing right now so so if you're done just click the reboot system and it will reboot your system now again it will take many couple of times to boot up because it is your boot first boot up and don't panic because that is very very normal as you can see the samsung logo there i installed that good animation previously so you can click the link in the description below how to install a custom good animation that you can personalize your device more um cool so as you can see we have successfully slashed a custom run on our device and it's actually look good the emotional lollipop really cool 
and that as you can see here that I can go to my settings and go to about phone as you can see in the about phone the ROM name or motion lollipop was developed by Brighton I don't know the name so just go all the way down and just find the Android version and let's try what we got here so as you can see we have a lollipop nice looking lollipop with a jelly bean feature that kind look jelly bean and I will turn on my device Wi-Fi so I can connect and try the browser if it is really fast the browser is really oh the chest no lag at all and you can try Facebook well not bad this is actually fast and I like the notification bar on this this button here so the thing that I really really like in the, this feature is called the um, terminal emulator which look like as a CMD on Windows. So if, you, if this video was working for you, just give me a thumbs up and if you found this helpful, you can subscribe to my channel for the support and you can comment down what are your thoughts about my videos and your comments, how um, this really works if you have some questions and if you want more videos like this you can go to my channel and if you're visiting my channel you can find more videos there useful and thank you for watching see you in my next video